Today we are starting to make this keychain in 3D printing. To make that happen, we have to make a 3D model of this one using a 3D software. To make that happen, we are using the software called Solid Edge. This is Solid Edge version 19. To start with, we have to make a solid part. So click here, solid part, start modeling. So for this drawing, we are making first. First, we are making these outlines. You can see this dimension, this 65 mm length, and the width of this thing it is 20 mm. 65 mm length and 20 mm, and it have a slight conical edge and a one diathree hole. And it have a red, red, uh, red, like a red kind of thing at the end, and the dust has been embossed in here. Water thickness 3 and the flat thickness is 1 mm and 0.5 mm rise to dust. We are trying to make a sketch from here. Instead of starting from the protrusion, we are starting from the sketch. Sketch and we are choosing one plane. Choosing a top plane and making that shape. We are starting with the hole, the hole, the dia was 3, we are giving the dimension dia 3, dia 3 and outer radius is 3.5, that means dia 6, 7, another one circle, we are making same center, that one dimension is so we are making a rectangle here using the current commands we are making sure it is centered and another one line here to here it is automatically taken as a tangent so it's now it's tangent same it goes here from here to here that also tangent the extra edge whatever is projected out we are trimming here using trim command trim trim and in between these angles we are making it is 90 degree to make that one perpendicular this one and this one so that is perpendicular next dimension we have to make sure it is 65 degree mm and the 20 mm width so that we are using a dimension command now we are giving the dimensions 20 mm and the length it is 60 Five. This R for chamfer radius fillet and all we will make later. Before that, we want to make that a rib kind of thing. That is uh, around a four mm gap. It is there. Around three mm we required. For making that one, we using offset command. You can see here. This is the offset command. Click here and put the dimension value 3 mm chain single you click select each and every line which and every one change so direction inside you don't want two of them only one is the sufficient line then we want to trim here this at this extra it is there so we trim this one here from here this one here this one here from here, here and this one here so this is the our in chain reference that dimensions of drawing 
So one one of our dimensions are misplaced, uh, that is 65 now. So we are replacing that one. Record dimensions has been made. So we are returning and finish. From here we are using a protrusion, protrusion command. Instead of coin selling play, we change that one to select from sketch and chain. Chain, we picking the what is the things we require. We were just selecting and outside edges and the circle and this inside one and we click OK. Now you can see the outside rib only coming. So we want the total thickness, it is 3 mm. So we are making that one. Instead of putting one side, we are putting at here. Symmetric. So the distance we are giving and finish. Outside edges we got. We want to fill the inside also. So for that, again we are using TVR in protrusion command to make sure if you are confused, you just keep escape everything from everything and uh, once again take the protrusion and select what the inside we want. It is still chain command. Now you can see inside the material only coming. So that also we want symmetric. We are putting symmetric and the thickness 1 mm. And finish. Now we are left with this keychain base and the test we don't we didn't add it. Before making sketch, we want to make that fillet of every corners. To do that, here it is 4 mm. So since we have made what 3 mm rib. So instead one line will come, but it is showing here, but you can see here this area, this corner instead corners will come around R1. Here it is mentioned that is not here it is R1 will come. So we are making that one first and outside everywhere R4. So we are going here. We are using a round around elements. A very inside corner. Same time, you can select that other side also if you're confused, rotate. And select and OK and preview and finish. So you see the one and a half is there. You want to make outside for a mouth. Again, we are making going with a round. Here we are giving and we are selecting outermost corners. And click OK, review, finish. So if you see, You can see now the base of that keychain has been made. But since we will make the test, we want to add the test here. To do that, you have to do the sketch once again. Let's go inside plane, choose the inside one flat surface, inside that one, insert test profile. Here you can see the font. So this one we are using the font called Impact. 
for we are choosing the form first. A T hyphen lab. A T hyphen lab. But this is not the font we require. We require the font called impact. We are selecting from from the font list from impact. Bold not command not required. Again, if you check it, you can see this test has been apart some gap it is there and height of this test it is not mentioned, but from our calculation, I think it will be around 15 mm. 16 mm. Because the 4 mm from here, 20 minus 4, 4. So it will be 16 mm test height. The test height says you are giving 16, but it is too long. Anyway, you place it here and so you can actually change the test if you have been making the dimensions, you can change. Here, set up, come again, again, here, check it out. But the spacing it is too close. Again, you can change the letter set up. The letter spacing give one mm, right, and one mm, and apply. You can see this 80 lakh test has been added. Place it accordingly, almost at the center, and return finish. Then making this one as protrusion, you can see here around 0.5 mm it is being projected. Here the dimension 0.5. So make that happen. Protrusion, thread from sketch, chain, select the test and click the dimension 0.5 and finish. The AT lab has been made. The same test we want to run on the other side also. To do this, again sketch, select the flat surface of that one. Again, we want to add. Insert just it lab select form form in that which says earlier we added 12 mm and letter spacing 1 mm and okay bold we don't want and okay so you can place it almost looking to the other one approximately at the same location at the opposite side and return finish then from the position choose the sketch from this side and click ok and again the proportion distance is 0.5 mm is been added and finish so we add at the both side. If you hide, if you hide all the sketches from this command tree, and uh, so you can see now only the model with the operations were very well made. This is AP lab has been made. Both side test has been embossed. And from the sketch you can see arm and diamond fillet has been given to the inside. So we can give that answer. Again go to round radius 1M 
and choose thing select this edge so it is all selected rotate this edge or selected click ok review finish so the fillet also made after the sketch this is the 3d model of the 80 lakh keychain using solid edge we been made the 80 lakh keychain using solid edge software after making since we didn't save this file from the starting as you say i will prefer you to actually start from so beginning where you should save this file for that for that file save the it lab document number if you are not given all this also doesn't matter but if you want to give you can keep Okay, and in this location, which location are you doing? So I am do, uh, making in desktop, making one new folder. More folder for project in that file name I am giving as AT, AT lab and save. This file has been saved as a PRT for, for part format. But for making a 3D software, 3D printing, we had to make this into a STL format also. So, so for that file, save as. From here, this location, instead of part document, change to STL document. STL document. In here, options you can see click on the options conversion tolerance 0 0.025 and tolerance units millimeters surface plane 45 degree and the output file as ascii a s c i i then click ok then click save 